Has a semi-truck ever scared the shit out of you when it unexpectedly went brrrr as it drove by? That's a Jake break. It's called a Jake break because the company that invented it is called Jacobson Companies, I think. It is technically called a compression break, and it is a form of engine brake that is most commonly found on heavy trucks. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, if an engine is made for going and brakes are made for not going, why you'd want your engine to be doing the job of not going when you already have brakes to do that job. And the reason is because when things move, you can never have too many ways to make them stop moving, and the heavier you are, the more true that becomes. Some of you may be familiar Familiar with engine braking in a gasoline motor if you've ever driven a stick shift and you put the car in a lower gear and let out the clutch to let the motor slow you down without using your brakes. The gasoline engine is able to do that because they have a throttle flap. See, gas engines regulate engine speed by how much air you let them have. To let more air in, the motor responds by adding more fuel, more air, more fuel, more go. If you've heard the term running wide open, that's what it's referring to. That throttle flap being wide open for more power, baby. But if you don't want more power, baby, you close that throttle flap, less air, less fuel, less go. But when your pistons go down, they're still trying to suck the same volume of air in. Since that throttle flap ain't letting that air in, that creates a vacuum in the cylinder that tries to pull that piston back up. That makes it a lot harder for that motor to turn over at high speed, slowing it down, and if it's in gear, it will slow your entire car down with it. But just like a Catholic female anatomy textbook, diesels are missing the flaps. And like groupies at a rock concert, diesels will take all that they can suck. There's no need to regulate their airflow like you have to do on a gasoline motor. So when you want to go faster, you just add more fuel, and when you want to slow down, you take that fuel away. But then you run into the issue that when you let off the throttle, there's no flap that closes that creates a vacuum to slow that motor down. And that gets to be a bigger problem because diesels are usually used on bigger vehicles that weigh more that need more help slowing down. So when Billy Big Rigger wants to do some engine braking, it's going to require some bolt-ons. This can be done in the form of an exhaust brake, which closes down the exhaust, restricting the flow, making it harder for that engine to push exhaust gases out and slowing it down. But when you really want your engine to help you avoid making calls to Jake from State Farm, that's when you need a Jake brake. Now when you turn a Jake brake on, it uses oil pressure to open exhaust valves when they're not supposed to be open. If you're familiar with the four strokes of a four-stroke engine, suck, squeeze, bang, and blow, the Jake brake opens that exhaust valve after the squeeze but before the bang. The squeeze is the compression stroke. After the motor sucks all of that air in, it squeezes it or compresses it, so when you get the bang, it can do all of that work to push that piston back down to turn the motor, and then the exhaust valve opens up and it pushes all of that spent exhaust gas out. And squeezing that air takes a lot of energy, which would slow the motor down, but that compressed air is like a spring, and while it took a lot of energy to squeeze that spring, when the piston starts to move back down, the spring or that compressed air pushes against it, returning that energy back to the motor. And this is where the Jake brake steps in and does the most American thing ever. It wastes a bunch of energy by turning it into loud noises. See, once all of that air is compressed in that cylinder, the Jake brake opens that exhaust valve. And all of that compressed air makes a prison break out the pipe rather than pushing on the piston. Kind of like when you're pushing on a spring to get it into something and it slips and shoots off into oblivion. So the engine has to put all of that work into compressing that air without getting any of that energy returned when it decompresses. And if you've ever heard an air compressor, you know that compressing air is not a quiet process, and that's why when you use a Jake brake, it makes loud noises. As a result, many populated areas prohibit the use of Jake brakes so you don't disturb the peace. But when it comes to slowing down 80,000 pounds, sometimes regular brakes aren't enough, and studies have shown that a Jake brake is a lot quieter than a semi crashing through your living room. Or motel wall if you've ever cheated on Garth Brooks' dad. And that's probably all the things you never needed to know about how a Jake brake works.